The heat is on as summer temperatures rise in parts of the U.S. People in South Texas are enduring record high temperatures over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Power grid stresses may cause Texans and other Americans to experience rolling brownouts. But what would happen if the country experienced more than just temporary interruptions in the electrical power supply? Well, our next guest believes an electromagnetic pulse attack may not only be likely, but imminent. Historian Dr. William Fortune is a New York Times best-selling author and expert on EMPs. His latest novel is Five Years After, a political thriller about the aftermath of an EMP attack in America. That's out in August. Bill, it's a pleasure to talk with you. So what would an EMP attack on America look like? What would happen? Okay, EMP, shorthand for electromagnetic pulse. It's created by launching ICBM launch. North Korea would be a likely candidate. Loft a missile 200 miles above the United States, detonate the nuclear warhead, sets up a cascading electromagnetic effect known as the Compton effect. Hits the Earth's surface, feeds into our electrical wiring, and starts shorting out the entire power grid. If they launch three missiles, eastern, central, western United States, it would shut our grid down permanently. Uh, the sad, the frightening figures are upwards of 90% of all Americans would perish within a year or two with the electricity gone. Wow, so why do you think this is likely even imminent? Uh, for a lot of different reasons. Sooner or later, somebody's gonna try to do this. We've known about this response to nuclear weapons for 40 or more years. Uh, North Korea is the one I watch closely, followed by Iran and then terrorist third states that might obtain a nuclear weapon. It will happen at some point. I'm not saying it's gonna to happen tomorrow, but at some point it will happen. And that's because you're a historian, you look at military history and the use of weaponry, or what brought you to you that conclusion? Well, you know, a weapon system has never been you know, uh, designed without being used. Catapults, bows, tanks, nuclear weapons. Sooner or later, somebody is going to use this against an opponent. Who else would be the aggressors here? Uh, China, Russia, they have the technology. Who would do this other than North Korea? Uh, uh, I don't see Russia or China doing it because uh, we would do it back. North Korea actually does already have the capability. North Korea has the capacity to launch a missile at least to the west coast of the United States. And they've had it for several years now. They're the players I worry about. So how long would it take to restore order, normalcy? Would we ever get back to normal? No. Uh, DOE study several years back indicated that 50% to 80% of our power grid would still be offline five years later. Okay, now let, let's talk about water because people don't, don't think about mm. that. I mean, if you live out in the western part of the U.S., you're very focused on water because of the dry conditions, but what would it mean for the entire country when it comes to water supply? Well, I'll ask you a quick question. When, when you got up this morning, where did your water come from? Yeah, it came from my faucet. <laughs> yes, so yeah, it miraculously comes out of the faucet. It requires electrical power. Electricity is the fundamental building block of our society. We lose our water, we lose our food, about 20 days food is about the max for most towns. We lose medication, we lose command and control, we lose it all. And there's a great emphasis right now, Bill, on uh, electric vehicles. Uh, the president would mm -hmm. like to see us move in that direction. So how about uh, just combustible engines? Well, what are called ICE, uh, internal combustion engine cars. Uh, estimates are any car made after about 1980, uh, anywhere from 10 to 70 to 80 percent of those cars would short circuit as well. So we'd really be out of luck, wouldn't we? Yeah, and the frustrating thing of it is we are currently spending a trillion dollars on green energy, and I support some of that, but we're not spending money on the basic infrastructure of electricity. The average component in our electrical grid is upwards of 40 years old. We're pumping electricity in 2023 in a 1970s, 1980s system. Uh, and we're actually decreasing our generating capacity at the moment, which is crazy. Well, what else do we need to do then to protect our nation and people? Uh, we need to have a robust return to generate electricity in a meaningful way using natural gas as one. Secondly, 
spare parts. All those spare parts we need, the big transformers, where do you think they're made? China. China, yeah. Uh, we farmed out uh, all the components of our electrical grid decades ago. That would be like on December 7th, 1941, we have to admit, gee, all our aircraft carriers are made in Japan, our planes are made in Germany. We need a homegrown return of industrialization to support the electrical grid. Okay, the novel is Five Years After, the latest in the series from Dr. William Fortune. Bill, thank you for being with us. We appreciate that book's coming out in August, correct? Yes, it is, sir. Okay, God bless.